Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. XLK, Apple, and Facebook on the daily and weekly time frame. So the tech sector hit hard this morning with the gap down open and the quick flush, but oversold hourly conditions were dip buying opportunities that ended up playing out into the end of the day as we filled the gap back to the upside we closed strong this is the fourth highest close we've seen here on xlk so 6076 and 6095 are the resistances we have a new level of support previously the main consolidation level was this pullback here where the bulls bought the dip at 5985 we now have a higher low at 6029 keeping these bulls in control keeping exponential supports and heading back to recent highs weekly time frame however is a bearish reversal doji after three big bull weeks so we will have to be cautious but we're not going to be seeing any kind of red flag on the daily unless we do break this low now. And if we do, that will have us losing exponential support, which will have us looking to normal healthy daily consolidation. And look how far above this middle Bollinger Band we are and have been for three weeks. And that gives us a little bit of a, a glimpse into our strength and knowing that pullbacks are A-OK -okay at these levels. Apple was the weakest tech name by far with the least significant bounce. And it was a double whammy where we had bearish news about iPhone production, followed by the bearish market reaction. So a big gap down and a very weak recovery. If you compare all of these tech names, Amazon, Google, Netflix, Apple, Facebook, it was very clear that Apple was the laggard and the worst bounce choice to choose from the lows today. We did, however, hold the daily middle Bollinger Band. Support 155.10. We bounced off of 155.02. 100-day moving average support is 153.41. You can see the lower wick with bulls buying the dip defending that middle Bollinger Band, but we're going to have to break 157.08 to start filling this gap and regain some momentum. So today definitely took a lot of momentum out of the sales of the bulls, which had been looking great, but now we have a lower high on the weekly time frame. So we have to be watching for the potential here of a bearish reversal uh, head and shoulders pattern, and it's likely going to be earnings, which dictates whether we negate it or confirm it. But here's a left shoulder, a head, and now the makings of a right shoulder, if we start to pull back now, back down towards 149.16, that's the neckline. And breaking 149.16 would confirm the bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern. And that pattern shows you a shift from higher lows and higher highs to lower highs and lower lows if we get that break. That's now what I'm going to be watching for the longer term setup. Facebook, bulls bought the dip significantly, a new support established at 172.63 because we have been extremely strong in blue sky breakouts. This does nothing to affect the trend. Support was 170.80 to maintain higher lows, and we bounce off of 172.63. Resistance is 176.03, and all-time high 176.74. Weekly time frame is a bearish doji. Again, we'll have to watch it. Exponential support on the daily and the weekly time frames are very key because they're so rapidly uh, reacting to the price. They hug to these really strong bull moves, whereas you see the middle Bollinger Band lags far behind. So it's losing these exponential moving averages, which will tell us momentum is shifting in the short term, which will tell us consolidation is coming. So I'm looking for that on both the daily and the weekly timeframes from these names that have been running strong. We don't really have them yet, but that's what I'm looking for to indicate consolidation is coming. So as of right now, bulls bought the dip in the tech sector. Apple is the weakest. We're going to see what kind of follow through we get tomorrow if the bulls can keep pushing higher in this recovery. And that's where we stand. I'll see you over the weekend.